Joe Jennings and his wife Nancy have been taking odd jobs to help make ends meet since the recession. I was making 60% more money than I'm making now. Jennings, a telecommunications electrician, has seen his work become less specialized or go to workers overseas. I saw the, um, the talent and the, the economic growth and power that this country has had, and I'm, and I'm watching it shrink. We are headed in the wrong direction. His pessimism isn't unique, particularly among white Americans. In an AP and ORC poll from this June, 40% of whites thought America's best days were ahead of it, compared to 62% of blacks. Even though many blacks are far worse off economically, minorities are also more optimistic about their future. So now I'm just going to have to wipe it up now. Take Christine Ricks a substitute teacher who runs a youth community center, mostly on her own dime. She recently graduated from college with degrees in social work and community engagement, along with a lot of student debt. I'm so poor, it's, um, I, I can't even be ashamed anymore. But I'm gonna be okay. I really believe that I'm gonna be okay because I've been okay so far. The disparity between minorities' optimism and whites' pessimism has helped define the election. Republican Donald Trump has appealed almost exclusively to whites, including the Jennings family. We are going to make America great again. Meanwhile, Democrat Hillary Clinton has struck a more optimistic tone. I have so much confidence and optimism about our country. I Historically, whites often polled as more optimistic about their prospects than blacks and Hispanics. But the shift began even before President Barack Obama's election in 2008 and it crosses party lines. Obama's election accelerated the sense of optimism with a really steep increase among blacks and Hispanics uh, between 2008 and 2010. Um, and the Great Recession um, really spurred on and accelerated this um, sense of pessimism among whites. There is one area, though, where blacks register as more pessimistic than whites, race relations and policing. I think this whole system needs to be re-examined and how we deal with um, justice. But Larry Davis still has hope for the youth because of his own past. He grew up in the foster care system and was homeless as a teen. Now 27, he's working toward his master's degree in public health policy and volunteering with young people. I mean, look at the 300, 400 years of America, you know, look at the suffering and the pain of the people. So I remain optimistic for that purpose because I know that they fought they resisted or they survived and educated so that I can move forward and continue to help people. But the future is what worries Joe Jennings. I'm afraid that our very way of life, our very wonderful opportunities that this country gives you will, um, will not be there for when my little guys get older. Those hopes and fears, a driving force behind this election. Carrie Andelfinger, Associated Press, Milwaukee.